Hello, my name is Khalil. I want to show you how to design the portfolio website through Adobe Muse CC. Let's, let's get started. This is Adobe Muse CC. The icon should look like that. Adobe Muse CC in 2015. So the icon in new. When we go, let's cancel here. When we go to the new site, it will show us the dimension of the website here. And if you want to use tablet or phone or desktop, let's do this. Page width is 960, which is the standard website with minimum height 500 that's mean if your page are empty you will have a height of 500 it won't go like one millimeter height like that it won't go like this it won't go like this it will keep showing white area till here and if you have a footer it will show you this is the margin, top, bottom, left, right. And here we have one column only, that's been the whole page. The page will be all one column. Column width is 920, which is because we removed 20 from left and 20 from right. From 916, so 920. All the column to get done with it, but it is not that actually, there won't be one column. And let's get started. Okay, now here you have the master, which is whatever you put here, you put to go in all the pages. And this one, and this is a home page, or whatever you add pages. Okay. Whatever pieces you have here, yeah, like here, I put something in master and I color it red. Okay. Now, if we see all this, if you open any of this website, we'll find this red box. Okay. So let's close all that and let's go to home, remove the master mm -hmm. box and let's do a, a website with a portfolio. <coughs> For example, let's work on, with the master page, this is the master page. Let's put a box here, which is your logo. We'll move <coughs> uh, header, so it will start from here, the page will start from here. And we'll make this bigger a little bit. We'll put the logo here, whatever logo you have. Actually, let's do a, a text logo, which is here, yeah, if we open that, maybe your logo. Sorry, I'm telling you another thing. Your logo. Okay, so your logo will be here. We can do it in any font. You can go any real or you can use any of the fonts you want. You don't have the font in here. The web fonts. You can add the web form by choosing this. Now I will choose uh, the best new, Noi, and let us make this big. So this is your logo. We'll place it here and we'll make that. So whatever you put here in between these two guidelines, it will be your header. For example, if you put something here inside and you move this down, move this down. Sorry. 
if you put the logo down, sorry, I got a phone. We can make this any color we want. Like for example, we can use this color. So we put the logo here. Now we can put like your phone number or whatever you want to put here, like a telephone number. Call me at zero 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 whatever phone number you want. And uh, like here, same color. We'll use same. And we'll increase the point size. We'll make it tight and we put it Okay. So now here you put your logo, here you put like call me out, whatever zero 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 zero. And now we we need to put photo. Let's make this one also same here yeah. and we can increase this. We'll put some color here. Yeah. Okay. And let we need to say this is a footer, we we'll have to click this one, so whatever you move, this footer will stick in the bottom of the page. You bring this one here. You bring this one here. You pull this one here. And you pull this one here. Okay. Now we finish with the footer. Let us put something in the footer. We'll say like for example copyright 2015. We'll make it white. Say whatever. And let's say this. So let's do uh, put it in work and save it in desktop. Or oh, let's call it portfolio. Okay, in the folder now. And now inside this folder we we'll call also this portfolio. Alright, so let us do all the work here. Whatever work you have, you can put it here. So, first, let's go. I mean, if you wanted to make it a slideshow, you can bring this widget library and go to uh, panels, not panels, compositions, and bring blank one, for example. So, if we need a blank one, actually we don't have to put this one here. Let's close the master now. Then we go to home and we bring the blank here. Okay, see now the footer goes down. We'll, we'll, we'll right click, do right click and clear all styles, right click, clear all. Project contents. Now we have only one but one uh, thumbnail and one. So we'll take this outside. We'll take this outside and bring this one here and increase it. Okay, so we'll bring an image. We'll go file, place, 
or I do command D for my control different. Let's uh, for example get some any images we know we want. Uh, let's do some, some of the images here. Uh, okay. Let's bring this one. See, I, well, once I put my cursor here and put it this way, oh, this one is, <coughs> is a thumbnail. Now, if I click here and I tell him not stacked, I need it live box. Okay, so now, same one here, same box, I will make this one like for them green okay and bring also same thing bring this one here and put it in the middle of the line okay now we'll take this out and put it now we can like put in the stroke, we we'll make orange stroke and then we can bring this one here, one, two, three, so we have three boxes and so we can make them all the smaller in width and bring this in the middle. Now the width of this one is 286, 261. So we have to make this 261. First we have to make this smaller. To make this 261. Okay. And then this 261 and this 261. Now again we make this in center. Make this in center. Okay, we have like three boxes now. We can put like another image here. Let's copy this and paste it here and press it here and then make plus and bring this one. So here. Okay. Now the only thing is when you click outside, when you click outside, you'll find all all these boxes are orange, orange stroke. But why this is not orange? Only because it is orange because <coughs> it was in active mode. So when it is in active mode, when it's in active, it will be orange. We need it also in normal mode. It is now what is also in normal mode. We can, like for example, Color. Dark color, like that. light color. Or we can click on fill and make this eighty percent. So it will be blue. Actually, again, this is more interactive. We make it have to make it more. Okay, now see this, it, it sticks, uh, it touches the, the, the content of the website, it touches the footer. How we can make this not touch the footer? We have to go to portfolio, to put it in the pages, it's called like pages or whatever it is, thumbnails on the page. Only. Go to uh, master page and bring this little bit of whatever you want you can move it any uh, space you want between the footer and the content and then close now if you notice when you go home again you will find this space always there whatever you put in it like for example if i want to bring this down it will, the footer will go down and this this space will maintain the same same place now i will click plus click plus and here plus okay so now I, I, I didn't I didn't go with, uh, to, uh, to 
take you how to do the menu that will be another lesson but I will, I will go for it next time and copy this and paste it here paste it here paste it here now remember you can you can put any any whatever images you want I, mean, I just put one image now and also if you go here you will click on this one copy and then click on this one paste click on this one paste click on this one and click paste here test and here this one and paste now let's see how the website looks like we'll go to file and say preview page in browser and let's see how to do now this is all your portfolio here your logo whatever you want and this is your area space this is this is from here to here is 500 this is the menu this is the menu and if you click on any one of that it will show you the logo and bigger size and that's it thank you for watching